Are you ready? We're ready to forget the further, once and for all. There wasn't a job open on Conjuring when I was uh, looking to direct. It wasn't a planned move. It just presented itself and it made a lot of sense. And to be honest, you know, that's that's sort of the insidious spirit. They're much smaller movies. It's a little more manageable. Even though this to me, and from what I have told and what people have said, it's a bigger insidious film than, than really there, there has been before. On one hand, it may be the biggest insidious film, but it's also, the spirit of Insidious and this team that's been together for a long time. It's a very comfortable team. They know how to do horror. They know how to how to limit their costs so there aren't a lot of voices in the room. So it, it just seemed like a great fit. I was completely uh, blessed to be given the uh, keys to the kingdom. Oh, of course. I've talked to Corey. I've emailed Corey Taylor the next day and I said, did you see my partner, my movie wife singing? And he goes, yeah, my wife showed it to me yesterday. And I told, texted Vera and I said, just so you know, that got to Corey Taylor within about a day. So, no, it's awesome. I've been trying to get her to sing with me for years. She's a big metalhead, so she and I have hit it off on metal for years. We secretly want to start an Iron Maiden cover band. <laughs> In my earlier childhood, I did not want to watch any horror movies just because making the Insidious movies really freaked me out as a kid. Now I'm, <laughs> I look back and it was all fun memories, but I do remember before I like, when I started like turning like 11 or 12 is when I really started wanting to like go to the theaters to see horror movies and most of them are PG-13. <laughs> and so I would go to the AMC with my friends and we would try and sneak in. They wouldn't, they wouldn't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're like, like, you're 10. <laughs> <laughs> and I recognize you. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely grew up watching horror movies. I mean, ho my parents don't really enjoy horror, so there wasn't horror in the house necessarily, but I liked it probably because they didn't. I think the first movie that I saw that really shook me to my core was It, the original It, the long version. We filmed the first one and I was probably about eight or nine. And then when we filmed the second one, I was 12. The night before like the premiere, for the second one, I wanted to go see the movie with everyone. So I was like, I should probably go watch the first one since I've never seen it. So I did a quick watch through of that and then the second one and then. Yes, absolutely. I had been looking for about the past, I don't know, I had written a script with a, a dear friend of mine, a fantastic writer that I was trying to get made, couldn't really get that made. So I'd been looking and then a couple years ago, well, geez, now five years ago, oh my gosh, one of my uh, agents said, would you be interested in, in something that you didn't write? And I said, sure, if it, if it meant something to me and I could still craft the story. Most directors, these are the directors that I know, you don't just hand someone a script and then go, oh, okay, I'll go shoot it. Like that's not how I work. I have to put myself into that script. I had been looking, not necessarily for horror, but it, it just made sense when the opportunity presented itself. It was actually my agent who had the idea to direct this, so I, I have to thank him. <laughs> I think the the Conjuring. Those are the only movies that have like legitimately scared me while watching. At least the first one. To be a part of that would be really fun. And the Annabelle. Oh, Annabelle! Like, all that. Yeah. The Nun. All that stuff. Yeah, all that yeah, stuff yeah. Is so creepy. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Dalton! When you awaken the dead, the further you travel, the riskier your journey will become. <laughs>